Oh, I'm seven years, seven months, and 24 days. <laughs> now, if you look at it, okay, <laughs> March 4th, let's go to May 4th, oh, of 2011. <laughs> um, I got back to my grandmother's house on Jen <laughs> Oh, my gosh, the May 4th of 2011. Uh, mine is 12 months. Oh, that doesn't seem right. No, it was 2012. Yes, <laughs> nine months, 26 days. <laughs> Now, um, you actually issued the permanent protection order, yes, mm -hmm. on August 12th, oh, August 12th, ooch, ooh, 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 August 12th of 2011, August 12th, 2011 would have been eight months and 22 days um, uh, that that protection order had been enforced. Mm -hmm. Not quite the nine months necessary to be able to reissue it, ooch, ooch. But you felt a compunction to have to reissue it after I was arrested? Yes. On May 31st, you, you reissued it. <laughs> now, you said that because it was going to expire within the 90 days that you could do that. <laughs> and um, as I remember it, it did have to be enforced during the jury trial. Yes. Nine months and 19 days. It seemed like um, this abduction of my sons. Uh -huh, so as to obligate them to be in the family. <clears throat> So they could be in the cult of the which way, you know, poop. You know, I was almost sure that everybody was actresses and actors and you were all extras per chance. Pooch. And I just wanted to know how much did you get paid for the show? How much did you get paid? Now your little family. Yes. Mm -hmm. Has been getting paid a lot of money to cover up your destructive business cult of those that are on the payroll they get paid for shows and when i said remove your fraud you said we don't have to <laughs> but if i were a sheriff you'd admit the exculpatory evidence i would have obligated you to remove the protection order because of the false police report on december 31st of 2015 i would have had my sons yes from uh, within a week of that arrest. December 31st of 2015. See, when you served me in the Squim Public Library, I kind of did read it. I sent you some emails about how she didn't sign it. Mm. My protection, uh, due process protection, was not being enforced. Yes. Yes, yes. And um, that you issued it for 10 years. Uh huh. And you thought you were so fucking smart, Brent. December 31st of 2015. Mm -hmm. uh, three years and seven months now. Oh, this is a negative number. Poo. December 31st of 2015. A false police report where you wouldn't admit the exculpatory evidence. Yes. And um, you've refused to acknowledge my rights as a father. Well, you had a little article in the Peninsula Daily News about Brady versus Maryland. Yes. Is there any possibility that you as a prosecuting attorney's office feel some sort of liability for refusing to acknowledge that I wasn't in Squim? Right. I wasn't in Brennan. Yes. And that I can sue the police department right now. I sue every fucking cop in Port Angeles that has any knowledge of this. Did anybody else read the Peninsula Daily News article about the sheriff that they had to? Oh, is there any sheriff in Clallam County that did read the Peninsula Daily News article that I just put on my Facebook profile? Yeah. Where they do know that the prosecutor had to because of the Supreme Court ruling. Now, every fucking one of you can be sued right now. Now, I know you said he can't sue us, but I sure the fuck can. So maybe the deputy or the undersheriff, Ron Peregrine, pooch. Or maybe Ron Summers, yes. Or Brian King, yes. Or maybe the deputy chief of police right now. Maybe every fucking one of you can just do what the law says. Did you read the article about the Supreme Court ruling Brady versus Maryland and how the pro- <laughs>